and my happy birthday wishes to you, and thank you for this amazing idea. You gotta have a lot of chutzpah to invite <laughs> all these people to celebrate your birthday in such a way, but I love the idea, and I'm really happy to be part of it. Um, I don't know anything about the meaning of life, but I, what, what, what in my own career, I think what struck me is that we know a lot more than we're applying. So we, we have learned lessons that we aren't actually applying to human health. I'm a, I'm a physician, I switched my career, it sounds like you did too, I switched my career from one discipline to a whole nother discipline because I got super excited about genetics. And I was like the oldest trainee in, in my genetics training program. And I really, really loved um, this whole new field of genetics that I got to learn. And what astounded me about this training was that I realized we suddenly, we, we're, none of us are using genomics for our health. Not one of your doctors is actually sitting there saying, let's examine your DNA and let's figure out how this is going to influence your future health. And I think this is... Uh, something of an oddity now approaching something of a tragedy in that you right now have the capability to look and about 20% of you are carrying mutations for rare Mendelian disease. 92% of you are carrying recessive carrier traits that you ought to know about before you reproduce. 89% of you are carrying at least one atypical pharmacogenomic variant that could change the way you take a drug in the future. And 20% uh, of you are carrying an ultra high risk for a common complex disease like heart disease, diabetes, uh, and uh, atrial fibrillation. So um, my message, I guess, I guess my life's work has um, it's got two branches now. One is discovering these things I've just told you. We're the first ones to actually deeply sequence healthy adults and healthy newborn infants and give this information back. And number two, actually try to change the medical care system, which is a much harder job because there is an enormous cultural resistance. Even among some of the speakers that I, I could name you up there who are saying that what I've just told you is nonsense and it does not matter and it will not matter to your health. Well, I'm here to tell you with a lot of evidence to back it up that it does and it will. And I don't know if it's going to change the meaning of your life but it might change the length and the quality of your life. Thank you. Wow.